Recent generations of Americans have taken our freedom so for granted that we are in danger of losing it. Most people today seem unaware of just how rare freedom of speech, freedom of conscience, freedom of religion and economic liberty are. But liberty doesn't grow on trees and it doesn't come naturally. It requires a strong foundation of truth, law, and a realistic view of human nature. Christianity provides that foundation because God has revealed the truth to his people through his word. If you doubt that, take a look around. Compare cultures where Christianity has been dominant with those where it has not. Show me a culture without a strong Christian influence where there is freedom of speech and conscience, rights for women, the freedom to practice differing religions. The fact is you won't be able to do it. The Bible tells us where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Christianity is the unique soil from which grows the tree of our liberty. Poison the soil and the tree dies. Yet in our own day, there are enormous throngs of people who are working to pollute that soil and swinging the axes at the root of the tree. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, every kingdom divided against itself is laid waste and a divided household falls. And yet, our public educational system, under the influence of the heirs of Karl Marx, has now produced multiple generations of Americans who have only scorn and disdain for this nation and its history. Without question, America has been an imperfect country, but it's only a spoiled and ungrateful people that evaluates it purely by its worst moments while ignoring the unparalleled freedom and prosperity that's been made available to everyone here. At this time of Thanksgiving, it's now a countercultural and almost revolutionary act to give thanks to our Heavenly Father above for the blessings He has given us through His Word, which include our freedom of speech, religious liberty, economic opportunity, and representative government. But that's exactly what we must do. Let us give thanks to God for sending the pilgrims to this land in search of freedom and for the founders who developed a distinctively Christian legal and political tradition in the freest nation on earth. And let us call to repentance a spoiled generation that takes shelter under the umbrellas of our freedom, all the while trying to punch holes in it.